of the ancient traditions of the East is the silences. And it's in the spaces between the notes, be they brief or long, that some of this uh, inexplicable effect uh, takes place. How were you initially exposed to, to this kind of music, uh, like from this particular region? And what, what, what drew you to just, you know, specifically that music initially? Somebody recommended that I go find this old man from Dagestan who lived in Los Angeles. And they didn't even know his name. I just had to go, you know, pound the streets and, until I finally found someone who knew of, this, of an old man who played some strange old instrument. And I went to his little apartment, and uh, this was in 1972, and uh, you know I was your age, uh, and uh, I was dumbfounded by the power of this. You know, the, a couple of notes, and we, we were transported. That's Muram, and it's monophonic, it is modal, it is microtonal, it is meter free, it has improvised compositions, and it's highly ornamented. The three instruments we have today, we have the oud, the tar, and the kamansha. The oud is a, uh, it's a kind of a lute-like instrument. Its origins uh, are from Central Asia and Persia. It was called the barbat, and uh, this is the tar, which has the, uh, the typical pinched waist I let, you'll, that uh, is the origin of the guitar and many similar instruments. And then the kamancha is right here. The so purpose of this music uh, is to take your ordinary human animal consciousness and throw it into some transcendental state of mind where instead of being narrowly focused on the, the, uh, the struggle of survival and imagine life thousands of years ago when this music first began to burgeon forth, life was incredibly difficult and dangerous and every now and then people had to take a break from the strain of just surviving and they craved transcendental states of mind. So this is the legacy that has arrived in the modern age and they wanted the music to be a form of, uh, what did you say, meditation almost like, uh, the idea is a transcendental experience where you leave your, your earthly cares behind and you go soaring off into some, into some ethereal cosmic space. Yeah. Fantastic sound because it sort of washes over you in, in sections and just sort of keeps coming back. And coming back Very and nice. Back. Thank you. It's a good. Good. Sound. Thank you. Three reasons why it was worth coming from Cherry Hill, New Jersey to Boston in a snowy day. <laughs> what makes Mugam special is because it's in Azerbaijan. It's the Azerbaijani variant of Eastern art music. And uh, Azerbaijan is, for a number of geographical and geopolitical reasons, a virtually unknown country. And uh, not because it doesn't deserve to be known. It's got a, an ancient history and a rich culture. It's just where it is. And it's in the Caucasus. And the Caucasus is a kind of a mystery spot in the globe. It's not Europe. It's not Asia. It's not Middle East. It's somewhere in the middle. 
Would you say the feeling of like transcendence that you get, would, is, it, is it different for you when you're actually playing it as opposed to when you're like watching a performance? Well, if they do it right, it takes, me to, it takes me pretty far, yes. I'm always impressed with the professional Azerbaijani Mughan musicians. First of all, they started when they were children. They grew up in the milieu. It's so deeply immersed inside them that it's almost like breathing for them. For me, it's a struggle and an effort. Even I'm doing it for 35 years as an American, you know, I, I felt compelled to try to bridge this immense cultural gap. summation, my mission is that the uh, art culture of Azerbaijan, their art music in particular, Mughan, is a world-class, evolved and sophisticated example of the richness of the human imagination, which Azerbaijan, the people of Azerbaijan, definitely deserve to get the credit for, and it's quite unknown in the world. And at the same time, the world deserves to have Azerbaijan spiritual riches. Anyway, thank you very much for your time and your attention. <laughs> Greatly appreciate it.